Welcome to the Ambient Wave. I'm your host, Belle Evans, and we are going to jump right into Chris Part on 5. 09.7. I'm dancing on a cloud of dreams. Troubles are distant, but so it seems. Caught up in the love unknown. But afraid to land, won't break the mold. Baby, let me stay on high Stop looking with those pretty eyes I don't want to make you cry Baby, let me stay on high Baby, on high I'll stay in this fantasy It goes my way But she's perfect and I'm starting to sway Broadcasting the newest music, 5, 09.7, Late Night Studio, The Ambient Wave. Just asking 
from our sponsor SLS Digital Music come for the music stay for the radio back in a bit hey this is Lizzie James check out SLS Digital Music your ultimate destination for soothing sounds and captivating melodies listen to our enchanting lo-fi radio channel where ambient pop R&B and the best hits merge into the best music subscribe and turn on notifications to hear our latest releases on Tuesdays and Fridays. Whether you're seeking relaxation, inspiration, or simply a musical escape, our channel offers a mix of ambient lo-fi for your soul. Tune in to SLS Digital Music on YouTube and let our curated selection elevate your mood and uplift your day. Join our community of music lovers and experience the bliss of ambient vibes like never before. Subscribe now and turn on notifications to hear the latest music every week here on SLS Digital Music. 509.7 The Ambient Wave. In the stillness of the night I'll be a guy to lie Through all the darkness and the fears I'll wipe away your tears I'll be there by your side With arms open wide I'll give my love unconditionally Stability through every trial, every test. 
that was Jude from his To Become One album. And I I just love the end of that song. Ooh, la 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 la. Sorry, did I just ruin it for everyone? I actually got to sit in while he was working on his next album, The Dreamscape, and it is just as smooth. I am so excited for its release next week. Please, please, please give your boy some love on its release, May 10th. So next up, we are going to tune into our time with Lizzie James. So sit back, relax, or work. You can work. I'm not trying to be presumptuous, whatever you're doing. Enjoy Lizzie James up next. 509.7 the ambient wave lizzie thank you so much for joining us today thank you for having me bell it's a pleasure to be here let's dive right in lizzie can you share with our audience how your journey into music began what inspired you to pursue singing well my journey into music actually began at a very young age i've always been drawn to the magic of melodies and the power of lyrics Growing up, I was always singing, and it became my way of expressing myself. That's truly inspiring, Lizzie. Now, let's talk about your creative process. How do you approach crafting your mesmerizing tunes? Oh, it's definitely a collaborative effort, Belle. I have to give a huge shout-out to my producer, R.L. He's the genius behind the magic. We work closely together, bouncing ideas off each other. It's a dynamic partnership that fuels my creativity and allows me to explore new sonic landscapes. It sounds like you have an amazing partnership. Now let's delve into your lyrics. Your songs are not only catchy, but also deeply emotive. Can you tell us about your lyric writing process? Absolutely, Belle. For me, writing lyrics is a very fun and collaborative process. I wish I could say most of it is my own, but sometimes I get stuck and I just have to get help. It's incredible how different perspectives can enrich the storytelling aspect of a song. I mean, we still want to keep it catchy and fun. Whether it's pouring my heart out or writing catchy tunes with RL, my goal is always to evoke genuine emotions and whether you dance or reminisce on a love, we want to connect. Lizzie, okay, your music is absolutely enchanting. Thank you. And one of my personal favorites is I Might Go Crazy. I love of this course, song. Yes. The lyrics are catchy, it's melodic, and sometimes I go crazy. I mean, I might go crazy if I see you with another baby. Belle, you caught me off guard there. Well, I have to admit, jealousy is universal, isn't it? While I try not to let it take over, I'd be lying if I said I've never felt jealous now and then. But hey, that's the beauty of music, right? It allows us to channel our emotions and experiences into something relatable and meaningful. So I guess you could say that song is my way of letting out those feelings in a lighthearted way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And with that, let's go ahead and take a listen while I'll dance to I Might Go Crazy, broadcasting the newest music, 509.7 Late Night Studio, The Ambient Wave.
Now, before we wrap up, I hear you have an exciting new single to share with us. Can you tell us a bit about it? Of course, yes. I'm thrilled to announce that my latest single, Crushing on You, is set to release from my upcoming album, Bubblegum Hearts. It's a fun and upbeat track that captures the exhilarating feeling of being head over heels for someone. I can't wait for everyone to hear it. It's out now, so go check it out. Well, you've certainly got us all excited, Lizzie. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your incredible journey and music with us. Thank you so much, Belle. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. And there you have it, folks. Be sure to keep an eye out for Lizzie James' latest single, A Crushing on You, and stay tuned for more captivating tunes from this rising star. Until next time, take care. You're listening to Late Night Studio, broadcasting the newest music, 509.7 Late Night Studio, The Ambient Wave. time with Lizzie. She is such a gem. So next up, we are going to roll into some more music. You need to get your feet moving. Yeah. Yeah. Let's pick it up a bit with some Chris Park. Delicious. Yeah, baby. Maybe I'll catch him in studio one day. And uh, yes, uh, and broadcasting the newest music, 509.7 Late Night Studio, The Ambient Wave. Crunch, miss your love. Been away for too long. Got a hunch, high above. I need to put it in song. Blue girl coming in from the plane. See the city off in the rain. I'm coming in, go down with the train. Driving fast, girls worth the lane. Vicious, can't miss it. Not fictitious, can't diss it. Test the litmus, my fitness. Unsuspicious, my witness. So delicious. <laughs> The clutch feel like above and warm to the touch. Love from above, never too much. Girl, you know. Ooh, girl, coming in from the plane. See the city off in the rain. I'm coming in, girl, done with the train. Driving fast, girl, swerving the lane.
what can I say? Go stream that on Spotify. Subscribe on YouTube Music. What are you waiting for? Chris Park, SLS Digital Music. Don't sleep on it. Okay, folks, the lecture is over. And now it's story time with Belle. Okay, so check this out. Some days just start with a bang, don't they? I mean, not literally a bang, but you catch my drift. Take yesterday, for instance. It was one of those days where even the rain seemed to be mocking me. And then, just when I thought things couldn't possibly get any worse, my trusty car decides to give up on me. Yep, a flat tire, right there in the pouring rain. But here's where the plot thickens, and the day takes a hilarious turn. So, there I am, stranded on the side of the road, trying to make sense of my unfortunate situation when suddenly, like a knight in shining armor, or should I say, a motorist in a raincoat, this gentleman pulls over. Now, you might think, oh, he probably just offered some advice or lent a hand. But oh no, this man, bless his heart, took it upon himself to change my tire without even breaking a sweat. And get this folks, he didn't even have me step out of the car. Can you believe it? I was sitting there feeling like royalty while this modern day hero worked his magic in the rain. I tell you folks, chivalry is alive and well and it wears a raincoat. So to that mysterious knight who came to my rescue, if you're out there listening and you happen to be under the sound of my voice, please, I implore you, call into this show. I want the world to know of your gallant deed. And who knows, maybe you'll inspire a few others to perform acts of kindness in the rain. So if you know this gentleman, or if you are this gentleman, don't be shy. Let's give him the recognition he deserves right here on the airwaves. He was my defender on that day, and I have a song for my lovely protector. Broadcasting the newest music, 5, 09.7, Late Night Studio, The Ambient Wave. shadows in the light i'll be there hold you tight every step every fall catch you even hold your show your fears through the rain i'm your shelter ease the pain keep secure thoughts up in your brain fly your girl out to spain remember Secure thoughts up in your brain Fly you girl out to 
Broadcasting the newest music, 5, 09.7, Late Night Studio, The Ambient Wave. Lizzie James and I am Bill Evans and this is 509.7 The Ambient Wave. Right now I have R.L. Smith producer and operator of SLS Digital Music here with me hey, Bill. and we are going to get into oh, so many things. Is that your plan to get me out here and then ambush me with all these questions? I think we should just stick to the script. We do have a script don't yes, we? Yes of course I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to get fired no, on I'm my first kidding, day. Though. Feel free, ask away, whatever you got on your schedule. So, yeah, I want to talk about the Jude Azel album. It comes out next week. Yeah, it yeah, hits Spotify, YouTube Music, Pandora, mm-hmm. all that. Now, this is the second album you work with yes, Jude on. Yes, it is. So, 
how does that come together in the studio? It has such melodic lyrics and it's just so smooth. Well, we, we put a lot of energy on the front end to, to make sure that we get the beat and the rhythm right. Um, usually it'll start with a story, typically one thing that we want to write on. And, and it's kind of funny because we can expand on anything, you know. I, I know sometimes I'll take the littlest things and, um, you know, just expand upon it like... Um, you know, someone went to a dance, and so all of a sudden we've got "Look My Way." You know, with Chris Park and Lizzie James. I hate James. that I missed them in studio. And it's fun to do and really expand that. You know, make catchy, catchy hooks and choruses. But um, you know, bringing it together with the beat, you know, we kind of have to decide uh, methodically. You know, what type of song we're in creating. And so with Jude. You know, when I'm in the studio with him, you know, I know it's going to be slow. It's going to be melodic. So smooth. Um, honestly, I want it to be something borderline that, that can put you to sleep. That's so cool. So, Bill, a um, little bit of a surprise. We did finish. Uh, actually, we've got a lot of the, the album finished already. So, um, if it's okay, if it works in your schedule, I'd like to see if we could maybe play one of the tracks here. No, I don't think we have time for that. Uh, seriously? Oh, my gosh, I'm kidding. Yes, yes, yes. Let's play it. What's it called? Bill, this song is called the 2024 Experience off of Jude's new album, The Dreamscape, here on 509. Hey, that's what I'm supposed to say. Okay, let's play it. The 2024 Experience here on 509.7, The Ambient Wave. Twenty twenty four, you yearn for more. I see the struggles tearing your core. Girl, push on, chase the Lord. You opened up and your heart just tore. Love comes and love goes. He had you once and you just froze. But in the end, was not you he chose. But your true love seeks the one who knows Oh girl, oh girl Hold on love, don't lose your faith There is a love that just won't break Find inside you and away There is one hole this life you'll take Shattered by man's trust 
Bell, what did you think? I love that melody. The dreamscape, quite the experience indeed. I'm glad it's you liked great. it. It's great. Thank you for sharing that. And when can I get that album? It uh, it comes out May 10th, 2024. I'm going to specify the year because I know this is internet. And years are going to pass. Uh, but it will be released on Spotify, YouTube Music, Pandora, uh, all of your major streaming platforms. So definitely get on that, check it out, stream it. If you want to download it, it'll be available for download. Laurel, thank you for coming out. I know we joke around a lot, and I really enjoy having you in the studio. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Please keep us in the loop with what you are doing, and I look forward to the new album coming out soon. Before we transition on to more Jew, we need to make a pit stop and check in with our sponsor, SLS uh, Digital Music, here on 509.7, The Ambient Wave. Are you tired of the same old playlists? Need a breath of fresh air in your music routine? Well, look no further than SLS Digital Music, your one-stop destination for captivating tunes and soul-soothing melodies. Welcome to SLS Digital Music, where we don't just play music, we create an experience. Our passion for music goes beyond just the notes and rhythms. It's about the journey it takes you on. Come for the music, stay for the radio. That's our motto here at SLS Digital Music. And do we have a treat for you? Introducing our podcast, Late Night Studio, where we take you on a musical voyage unlike any other. Picture this, you cozied up in your favorite spot with our ambient melodies gently embracing you in the background. It's not just a podcast, it's a retreat for your soul, a sanctuary from the chaos of everyday life. Let our curated selection of mesmerizing tunes transport you to a place of tranquility and serenity. Whether you're unwinding after a long day or simply need a moment of peace, our podcast, Late Night Studio, is here to accompany you every step of the way. So why wait? Tune in to Late Night Studio today and let our music be the soundtrack to your moments of bliss. Visit our website or find us on your favorite podcast platform, SLS Digital Music, where the melody never ends.
another edition of Late Night Studio, easy listening and soothing talk. This is Jessica Henson. And this is Rahid Henson, keeping the sound relaxing and delivering the best of easy listening to your ears. So we've been, Rahid and I have been getting many requests, calls, and and messages to get into, into the story of us. Yes, as crazy or practical as it is, for better or worse, we're about to get into it. We're going to do this. We'll go ahead, you're starting. Working, I did a lot of that back then. See, I had this plan that maybe I could work my way into a million dollars. And you know what? I found out. Yes, I was absolutely right. But, <clears throat> but I was, I, I left very little time for anything else. So long story, a little shorter. I wasn't looking for her, but she just walked into Okay, it. so yeah, I tell this part. This is where I come in. And so, okay, um, I noticed him first. And okay, so yeah, we had been going to this like community center for classes. And afterward, the groups go across the street for, like, to just hang out. So, so I've been doing that for a while. And mind you, this is only on Saturdays, so only once a week. So Rahib starts showing up. And I am, I am, like, very interested to say the least, but I'm also super, super shy. So Rahib just, he goes to the thing with everyone, but he always is, like, sitting to himself. Yes, I had no friends, but that was my social time. So I, so <clears throat> I worked so hard. I just had to force myself out. Babe, I'm talking this part. You, but yes, it was sad. And I felt bad for you. Like, who is this cute guy sitting in the corner and working on a Saturday? Truth is, it was really intimidating. But hey, at least that kept the other girls away. Also, I knew you were older, and that was a little intimidating as well. So week after week went by. Well, I, well remember the time I... Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, I almost forgot that part. The espresso... Uh, okay, so listen, this one Saturday, the place where everyone gets together was a coffee shop. I was waiting on my order. It seemed to have been taking longer than usual, and my friend wasn't able to make it that day, so I was kind of hanging on my own, actually just enjoying the time. I didn't see Rahib that week, so I was kind of relaxed. I didn't have to sing girl that week, or swoon, or everything that pretty girls do when we get weak in the knees. I was just thinking, you know what, I'm going to just relax this weekend. So I'm hot and sweating from the workout and I'm downing a liter of water waiting on my order and then I hear it. Something that I am going to hear for the rest of my life for the first time. Jessica, my name on his lips. So I stare at him for like what seemed to be like five minutes and he like does not break stare. Like this is the first time he has seen a woman before. I would soon come to realize it was because I froze and I still have my water bottle fully locked to my lips and gulping a mountain of water. And for some reason, I thought that would be the best time to say hi. So I choke and spit out water all over his hands. I was sitting and he was just standing there with my order in his hand. So not only was this gorgeous man standing next to me, but he brought me my food and his reward, a big wet spot right in his business. It really wasn't as bad as it sounds. I felt so bad. Well, I sat down and for me, that's what lucked it in. See, I was there for her and still say I noticed her before she noticed me. I think, though, you count us from the day I asked you out. Yet we just never looked back. We were married in one year. Sweetheart, I never doubted us. I just knew you were it for me. We wanted the same things. We did. I didn't know it, but you were my perfect match. Work, life, church, and we just really wrapped around each other. I mean, we, of course, are going to have problems. Well, yeah, of course. Who doesn't have problems? But, but in the end, this girl, Jessica, she's got me and I have her. I'll always have her. I'll always do what I need to for you, and I know you'll do the same. So, anyway, save that for after the podcast. I love you, Sadie. Love you, too. So, yeah, that's pretty much how we met. After that, it was picking a house and picking children's names. We moved fast, but nobody's getting any younger. Yeah, I mean, we don't have kids yet, but eventually, we have the names picked out. 
Brian or Cooper, if it is a boy, Rachel or Evelyn, if it's We really don't have to get into that. I'm okay. I guess this has been the one thing, the part of the fairy tale that's missing. So I've been having some trouble. Jessica. Can we just talk? If we change, if I change my mind later, we can edit or not upload. But I, I think it might help, baby. I've asked so many times. I know, baby. I just, it's just reminiscing and everything. I just want to get it out. I really love you and, and I'm sorry I'm jumping out like this, but it's so hard. I don't feel like a woman. I feel like I'm letting you down. I feel like you're going to- Jessica, my love for you is not changing. I'm sorry. You take care of me, you love me, and I know you want kids, and every time, every fucking time we hear I'm sorry from a nurse who tells me they don't know how to say it. Jessica. Why? Why? I'm gonna turn this off. Raheej. Sorry about that earlier. I know we are supposed to keep things light, but but this is our love after 30 and everything that comes with it. We've reached the end of our time, but we'll be back with more on the next podcast. So please remember to tune in to 509.7, the ambient wave. You ready, Rahij? Yes, Jesse. I'm ready when you are. I love you. I love you too. <laughs>